Well, hello friends, here we are at the shoreline of the Sea of Galilee in Israel. And it is a beautiful morning this morning as the sun has come up after an evening of rain and the ground just has a freshness about it with the water and the rain, excuse me, falling last night. But this is the Sea of Galilee, and so we think of Jesus sending his disciples to the sea, and then a storm arises. Did he know a storm was coming? Did he know a storm was going to rise up as his followers were in the boat together? And yet he sent them into it knowing that it was still coming? Jesus responds to that storm after hours of them rowing at the oars and being in the storm. He responds by actually coming out to them on the sea. He comes out to them walking on a lake and they think he's a ghost that's actually going to pass by them. And so they are in this storm and Peter says, Jesus, if it's you, tell me to walk to you. Tell me to come to you. And I love how Peter says, if it's you, Tell me to walk like you. Tell me to come to you. Jesus calls him out of the boat that day. And so the question we often ask is, is Jesus calling you today, my friends, to come out of the boat, to come out of your comfort zone, to come out of your routine, and to be called by Jesus to trust in him by faith and to do something that you've never done before? And let me reassure you that if he calls you out of your comfort zone, you will be way out over your skis beyond what you are familiar with, but he will trust you and take your hand. Second story that I think of when I'm at the water's edge of the Sea of Galilee is in Luke 8. Jesus is now with them in the boat. He's with them in the boat, and this time a storm arises and Jesus is sleeping. They wake up Jesus, they're fearful, and Jesus basically says to the wind and the waves, he says, calm, be calm, and be still. And all is calm in that moment. Even the wind and the waves obey him, the disciples say. Are you in a storm this morning that seems out of your control? This morning, Jesus says to your storm, be still, be calm. The two things I love about these stories that I just shared with you is that Jesus sees you in your storm, my friends. He knows you're in your storm. He's not distant. He's not aloof. He's not sleeping. But he's watching you straining at the oars as you find yourself in the storm. But what's better than that is Jesus isn't just watching. Jesus comes to us in our storm and he actually gets in the boat with us and is present with us as we struggle and find ourselves in life's storms. Please never forget that Jesus sees what you're going through and he also is present and joins you in your storm. Hope you're having a great day. We look forward to dropping in again and sharing some words with you the next time. Take care and God bless.